So, okay, so something happened with part two. Now, of course, I'm not going to say here and all that, because this is a continuation on part two. So part two is going to have to be split into two halves, because the reason why is the fact that I ran out of storage. <laughs> That, that's the only reason why I kind of had to do this into two parts. Or, two, well, one and a half, two parts. Because I ran out of storage. It pisses me off because I was about to do it into a one hour. <sighs> so, let's go into where I last left that off for, well, what's it called one and a half, and this is two and a half. So, of course, uh, what's it called? Yuga, who was the one to bring Naruto back to the office. Of course, this is where, well, Naruto says, damn it, I was so close. This is where, well... Horosan says, Naruto, huh, why do you have to lie about your name? We go into kind of a 30, uh, kind of only 30 seconds later. Naruto is kind of just talking to Horosan, saying that he's wanting to help uh, Kon uh, Khan. This is where uh, Horosan says, and that's why you lied and needed to work as a part-time job because you wanted to help him. What if I then say that I won't help Khan and money? This is where Naruto says, then I will just drop out of being a ninja and then, well, work as a blacksmith. This is where Horus is like, wait, wait a minute, Naruto. I, I think you need to think of this more rashly. This is where Naruto says, no, 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 no. I want to help the old man. This is where Horus says, uh, it's still it's kind of hard to like always. That won't change, but <sighs> fine, 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 fine. I'll help him. I will try to donate stuff. But Naruto, don't lie. And stop being so mean to people. Naruto says, I'm not. I just didn't want to show my name. Besides, isn't that supposed to be what a ninja does? Not supposed to, well, say their true name or true identity and other things? This is where Nar Horosa says, yeah, but not to your own comrades or other civilians. Naruto says, uh, sure. This is where Horosa says, you really don't want to be a ninja. I feel like you really want to be a blacksmith instead. This is where Naruto says, I want to be a blacksmith and I want my, well, <laughs> this is where Naruto says, my two goals is to become the blacksmith and, well, the greatest blacksmith and also become the strongest warrior to make people fear me. And Naruto said that in that last tone, in a dark tone. This is where Korosan goes, uh, Naruto. Naruto says, yes. This is where Horosan says, no, that last one. No, 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 no. Wait, I thought your dreams were uh, supposed to be the Hokage. Naruto says, looking at you and doing that paperwork, I'm good. I'm good. This is where Orosan sighs and says, well, the kid changed his dreams. Sad. This is where, well, Naruto says, but other than that, that that's, uh, what's it called? That second one that I say is going to be my first one. This is where uh, Horus is saying, no, Naruto, uh, why do you have to pick two very difficult goals? This is where Naruto says, I mean, it's not difficult when I'm already able to be making people fear me. This is where Horus says, what do you mean? Oh, uh, what about the uh, giant fluffy fox that I see in my dream every time? This is where Horus says, shit, the nine tails. This is where Naruto says, he has very, like, nine fluffy tails. And he's, he did tell me that the reason why people fear uh, me is because of that uh, fluffy tail, uh, fluffy plushy that's telling me about it. Horus says, at least the Nine Tails is just saying that he's a fluffy plushy. This is where Naruto says, his name was Nine Tails? This is where uh, Nar uh, uh, well, Horus says, shut up. <laughs> Dude, this is where he told Amba to kind of grab Naruto from the mouth and make him not say anything more. This is where the clan heirs and, well, Umi's mother are right now confused. This is where, well, they realize what uh, Naruto was talking about. It's mostly talking about the Nine Tails. This is where they say, hey. This is where, well, mostly they look down at their daughters and they say, what do you mean? This is where Naruto bites onto the Ambu's hand and the Ambu goes, mm. this is where Naruto says, I'm talking about the giant fluffy Nine Tails. This is where the Nine Tails says, I'm not fluffy in his mindscape. It's where Ethan, grit, uh, what's it called, greed, and even song started bursting into laughter. This is where uh, Karama looks at all three of them and says, Shut the fuck up, you bastards. This is where Ethan says, <laughs> I mean, hey, Mr. F this is where Ethan has to dodge actually a little tail swipe from Karama. And basically, Ethan says, Oh, calm down, Mr. Fox. I think 
Mr. Plushy Flo uh, Fox, you don't want to make Naruto very upset. This is where Greed also starts teasing uh, Karama and then and this is where Song also joined the fact that it was just funny. This is where, well, Horusen says, okay, listen up, all of you. This is where uh, Horusen did do a ceiling uh, array around his office and told Naruto, Naruto, don't tell anyone that again. That's where Naruto not. This is where he looks at the heiress and says, please don't tell anyone about Naruto talking crazy. This is where they said, okay, I mean, we don't even have friends. We're just friends with each other. This is where Horusen says, good. Then, um... He looks at the clan heads and even Umi's mother and says, Don't tell anyone about this, okay? It's an S rank uh, class. This is where, well, they nodded and this is where Horosen says, Okay, Naruto, I will help you with Khan and his black shell. Uh, well, not black shell. Uh, blacksmith self, okay? Now, I should probably then think of something else. Hmm. This is where, well, Umi's mother then decides to speak up and says, I'll take care of the boy. If he doesn't have family, then I'll be able to take care of him. This is where, well, Naruto kind of felt weirded, weirded out the fact that Umi's mother wanted to take care of him. This is where Haruzma says, no, it's fine. This is where Naruto says, yep, I'm fine. I'm perfectly normal, uh, not psychotic kid. Yep, perfectly fine. This is where... <coughs> Horusen says, yes, he's perfectly fine. Don't worry, Inuichi will find a way to go into his mind, but other than that, yeah, he's fine. This is where Umi says, uh, Umi's mother says, okay. Then, is it okay for, what's it called, my daughter? This is where the blonde, do the dirty hair blonde dude says, yes, is it okay for my daughter? And this is where well, the last one says, yeah, is it okay for my daughter to play around with him? Horusen says, yeah. It's fine. He looks at Naruto for a second and glares at him for even telling about the Nine Tails. He said it in such an adorable way, and this is where, um, well, Junko, Umi, and even uh, was it called? Scarlet says, "Can we meet the giant uh, fluffy plushie?" This is where Naruto says, like, "Uh, I mean, not really. He's only in my dream, so I probably he probably won't be able to be meet." This is where, well. Horusen says, at least it's a dream, and they can actually be fooled by it. it's a dream. That's where they all gone so, uh, they all sat in up, but yeah. That's where, well, Horusen says, you know, at least Naruto isn't telling them about the giant fox. <sighs> but this is where we go into a time skip of Naruto kind of, well, just talking to the old man named Khan. This is where Khan says that uh, today we will be learning about how to make, well, weapons, mostly swords and all that. This is where Naruto nodded, and he was happy to learn how to make weapons. So, yeah. This is where, well, after Naruto kind of just, after that day, he went to what to call meet Khan. And, of course, this is where he starts kind of learning how to make a dagger. Now, of course, Naruto is just hitting a kind of a more bigger but medium smaller, uh, what's it called, rectangle of metal. And, of course, trying to make it into a dagger. Now, of course, Naruto had way too much on his mind and all that. Well, not really much in his mind. Kind of just meeting what's it called? Well, three girls and kind of being friends with them. Kind of just had more things in his mind. So, of course, it were Naruto. He made, well, what's it called? The uh, dagger a little bit, well, unusable. So, of course, he just decided to restart and make up a new one. And this is where he made it into a rare. This is where Naruto says, hmm, very interesting. This is where, well, Khan says, good job, Naruto. You made a, a pretty good, solid one. This is where Naruto smiles at him and says, yeah. This is where, well, we go into somewhat of a three-month uh, time skip. Naruto has been leveling up, and I should mention now, Naruto, even though he is, well, he used to be level 31, he is now level 55. Well, not three months. He... Uh, we do want to do a five month time skip, so he's now level 55 in only three months, or not three months, five months. Of course, Naruto's level up, their levels up a lot and all that. 
So after Naruto kind of uh, leveling up for five months, he's fifty five. Of course, he's level fifty five in five months. Of course, he has a thousand points. Well, has six hundred because he wasted two hundred on his health, making it eleven hundred. Uh, three hundred on uh IQ, making it eight hundred. Uh, for his strength, it was kind of during the training. So during just the point of him just training for five months, daily quest is a thousand and two hundred and fifty five uh for strength for mostly stamina is uh a thousand seven hundred and fifty five agility a thousand and two hundred and fifty five chakra seventy K from him adding points and and their ability a hung uh kind of twelve hundred to mostly so yeah of course well well Naruto he is now able to kind of well, be this strong. Of course, in five months, he also did learn a couple of abilities. Well, abilities that he actually made a uh, kind of combined with, well, being able to use, well, Ethan, Gon, Sanjin, Wun, and even Greed's powers, and even his own. First move, it's called Moon Slash of Whirlpool, or it's called Uzumaki Style of Moon Slash. Basically, if you want to know what Moon Slash is, it's basically Ethan's kind of uh, attack that he kind of just got from uh, someone else. But yeah, of course, there's another one called Moon Slash. Uh, mostly Moon Slash of Darkness, a uh, Warpool Armor. Meaning Warpool Armor is basically that Naruto created. Well, actual like this kind of bluish color armor that. He managed to transform into armor. Of course, Naruto is still nine years old, but he's well five months in. Of course, the word Naruto. He also did create something called Moon Slice Piercing Attack. Of course, this attack is a well, what's it called? It's a Moon Slash, but it pierces through any armor. This is where uh, another one is called Darkness Warpool Slashes. This is where this attack. Uh, since multiple darkness slashes at what's caught as well, he slashes, but of course, it's mostly around him, so yeah. Mostly like a whirlpool, is, uh, is he doing it like that? Uh, okay, so those are like five abilities, kind of attitudes that he kind of created. Mostly abilities. Of course, this is where his, what's it called? Other abilities that he managed to create is, well, create and also discover at the same time, is Flame of Darkness. These flames are a mix of blue, purple, and black flames. Of course, there is darkness, uh, well. So, the last move, uh, well, a couple more moves. Darkness of Last Ray. It's a dark version of Last Ray of Hardcore and Leveling Warrior uh, skill. That he kind of had in the webtoon. He also has Blacksmith Rage and plus, well, not plus, and well, kind of a combined merge of well, Darkness Dome. It's mostly him allowing him to kind of use both Darkness Dome when he summons out his army, and adding that with what's it called Blacksmith Rage of well, Greed's kind of skill, making his soldiers more stronger but also be in rage. And the last one are called Flames of Gold. Now, these flames are transformed when, uh, what's called? The Arto kind of uses a type of, well, uh, armor. A special type of armor that he actually created made out of gold. But yeah, but not just any type of gold. Naruto was on the dungeon that he was able to kind of get this very rare material metal that has not been seen into, uh, the Naruto world. This armor kind of allows, well, this material is called, uh, burning, uh, well, burning gold. Now, of course, Naruto managed to create an armor for it and allows him to send out, well, golden flames from his hand. So, yeah. Of course, this is where Naruto, he can equip it anytime he wants to. Now, of course, it's only five months, uh, well, Naruto, and he's already this strong. Now, of course, this is where, well, Naruto... He is kind of, well, what's it called, just dealing with other things, but yeah. Of course, this is where Khan's, uh, what's it called, Blacksmith, has actually been stabilizing 
pretty crook, uh, but not crook, uh, good and hasn't actually, well, any other business could not really fight against Naruto or even compete against Naruto's skills. So yeah, of course, this is where we go into an actual time skip of Naruto being, well, uh, 10 years old. Naruto has actually became 10 years old, and of course, uh, it was just it was called five more months, and Naruto's now at the level of, well, so of course, Naruto's skills are at, well, level at, well, his health is at 1300, and of course, where everything else would kind of stay the same, except for his strength. Stamina and agility, they all kind of went up. And yeah. So, of course, after Naruto kind of being able to level up this much, he does have 14, well, not what's called, uh, 13, 14,000 health. Of course, is where, um, his strength is at 2,000, his stamina is 2,000, his, uh, agility is 2,000, chakra still stays the same, but yeah. Of course, Naruto has a better chakra control and other things. Because he's been training, not just in the levels, but also training in, well, what's it called, other things. Now, of course, there's a couple things that's mysterious to him, just like the N that's in his name. That means Namakaze, but he doesn't know about that. Of course, there were, well, he did go into multiple dungeons, like A to what's it called B-rank dungeons. But, of course, he's only 70, well, he's rank, not rank, he is level 75, but yeah. Of course, he got closer and being friends with what's it called Junko, uh, uh, Scarlet, and even what's it called well, Umi. But of course, another girl kind of joined to kind of be friends with all of them, and a girl with what's it called well, sober eyes, reddish kind of hair, but also kind of has black. Mostly her red hair is highlights. Of course, this girl is named Ruby. She is kind of very happy to meet friends of her own, but yeah. Of course, Naruto is in the same academy, well, academy class as Umi, Ruby, Junko, and Scarlet. So, yeah. And Naruto is 10 years old. So, yeah. Of course, this is where Naruto has, it's called, well, been good friends with them, but yeah. Of course, Naruto is now able to make, like, armor, weapons, and better gear for when he's in the blacksmith. So, yeah. Of course, he mostly hides his identity from the villagers, so, yeah. But, of course, when it comes to, well, different people that are from different villages, it just shows that he he is just the apprentice, but, yeah. But, of course, this is where, well, Naruto has been doing that. And, of course, this is where, well, Naruto has been leveling up. Of course, he's level 75, and he's actually able to hold more than just, well, 10% of, well, Sanjin Wu, uh, Greed, and even Ethan's power. He can hold about 55% of his, their power. Not 55. Not 55. 50% of their power. So, yeah. Now, of course, this is where, well, I'm going to do a three-year, not three-year, a two-year time skip. Because Naruto is 10 right now, and, well, Naruto is now 12. Naruto is actually taller than half the students. Even though he's 12, he's actually 5'6". Uh, Just 5... Well, not 5'6". He's actually taller than that. He's 6 feet. Of course, this is where Umi and others are actually taller than being nor- original kids. And of course, this is where Junko's actually 5'8". While the others are kind of like 5'6 and 5'4". But yeah. Well, mostly 5'6". But yeah. Of course, this is where Nar- all of them are actually 12. But now, Naruto... He's actually level 100, but of course, he's now able to control 65% because he's still not that strong, but yeah. Of course, it's where Naruto's able to go into more dungeons, but yeah. Mostly s rank dungeon, but yeah. Of course, we go into when Naruto's kind of in the academy doing like the Kenning test and ninja training, yeah. Of course, it's where, well... Naruto is doing the test and all that. He fly. He just passes with flying colors and all that. Now the teacher is not Aruka, and of course this is where Naruto and the others, Junko and Umi and others, kind of pass. But yeah. 
of course this is where well I'm actually going to leave it, uh, leave it off here for part two uh, because I actually just wanted to do a one hour from the other one but of course I didn't have enough space so yeah I'm gonna do part three whenever but yeah have a nice potato day potato night potato seed potato potato and yeah potato <laughs>